Greetings everyone and let me present you a quick and easy way to get quite complex, abstract and interesting looking shapes, geometry in Blender 3.3 Alpha using a couple of new nodes. So we will be able to get something like this, I guess. Uh, really in a couple of minutes. Let's get a new scene and let's jump directly to geometry nodes and create a new setup. And uh, here we have volume and two nodes that we're interested in. It's a volume cube, just cube of something, cube of voxels. And we can uh, Specify its size. Let's increase it a little bit, and as well as resolution for it. Um, so nothing uh, fancy here, and we can convert this volume to mesh. Well, that's kind of weird way to get a cube. But okay. The interesting part is this density field input. We can, ooh, and we can plug basically anything uh, to it. For example, Voronoi texture. And adjusting threshold value. We're getting, we're already getting uh, some interesting sponge-like structure or maybe some caverns there um, yeah and we can uh, adjust and just a way of converting this thing to mesh to make things smoother or maybe uh, block here but be careful because uh, with some extreme values you can it, it can really get an impact on on your performance so uh, Voronoi is interesting but you can play with uh, values and algorithms and I like this uh, 3D F2 Chebyshev setup here. So we can get a lot of uh, separate pieces of geometry. Uh, yeah, it depends on the threshold as well, how, they, how things are separated from each other. And Uh, adjusting it, you can get a really different values. For example, you can get more regular structure with d decreased randomness. Oh, like just total chaos. Also, there is an interesting way of adjusting things, it's just like a plugin. Voronoi to Voronoi. Um, yeah, like this. It's uh, these two nodes can provide a really interesting patterns. Like it's not even for 3D, but uh, for just plain textures. Okay, so uh, how can we make these separate pieces uh, colorful? Now let's jump to a shading thing, switch to render view because we need it. It won't be visible in this preview mode. Uh, let's grab a material and add a geometry 
input node and we'll use this random per island value and we'll plug it to color ramp and this color ramp we just plug to base color so here we need to add a couple of colors from whatever palette you like it's for me just uh, it's the most difficult thing to get a um, beautiful uh, not beautiful and balanced palette okay nothing here and I believe it's because we need to add one more node here it's a set material node yep voila and hope you like it and already pressed the like button subscribe and did all the correct stuff that we need to do in our time so see you later bye